Okay, guys, you both know the rules. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. And so we get underway on the main card here with the latest appearance in this country of Austin Amo Williams, the South Four, in his 14th professional contest. And in the middleweight division in which Darren Barker alongside me became world champion not so long ago. Williams, a very confident character. We were joined in commentary by him for Felix Cash's last outing just before Christmas on the Josh Warrington undercard up in Leeds. And Darren, what have you made of Williams' progress in the professional ranks so far? He's a very good fighter, Mike, first and foremost. He does an awful lot right. Uh, right. He's got quick hands. Every shot is artillery. He puts them together well. Footwork's really, really good. He has that will and that desire to always close the show in dramatic fashion. So that makes him exciting. And that's the kind of shot that he was being asked to throw by Dwight Pratchett in the corner. Yep, he throws it really well. Just needs to bring his feet in, but this is a good... Response from Wilson Bent, pushing his man back, struggling to land anything of note, but still physically strong. Was able to push Williams back. But he's got to pick his moments here, Wilson Bent. He can't be careless, he can't just throw shots for the sake of it, because he will get counted. He's extremely fast, he's a reactions fighter, Williams. If you throw a sloppy shot, a jab, for example, he will count you over the top. So he's got to pick his battles here, Wilson Bent. Oh, nice left straight down the middle. Just taking the sting out of the shot, Wilson Bent with his feet and swaying backwards. He needs a sustained attack, Williams. He needs to bring his feet in and go again, but again, good work from Wilson. Just a sign also, though, that Wilson Bent does have to take a gamble when he throws that backhand, the right hand, because Williams is waiting to throw his own backhand, that straight left that he's been asked for down the pipe by his trainer, Dwight Pratchett. Yeah, a couple of good lefts, but he just smothered his work as he had Wilson Bent on the ropes. Didn't give himself the room to get the shots off. There's a nice right to the body around the, the left rib cage of Wilson Bent went in there from Williams. And is Williams guilty of believing that he really only had to turn up here tonight? Yeah, definitely could have been the case, Mike. Looking at the bigger things, I mean, you can all be guilty of it at times. One eye on bigger opportunities, but you've got to remember this opportunity for Wilson Bent is huge. He wins this, he beats Amo Williams. Big fights beckon for him, and you can see from his desire and his intent, he really fancies this. He's doing the right thing, he's taking the space away from Williams, he's making him fall short with that left hand. He needs to keep that chin down. And one thing I've seen from Wilson Bent in the past, he can't carry his chin high, he is tall. And the natural thing to do when you're under attack is to come to a sway out of range and you can be open to the shot. So you've got to keep that chin down. Don't lean back, take your feet out of range. But working nicely so far. And once again in the Wilson Bent corner, just a reminder to him that now it's gone beyond the four round stage and it's been adjudged to be a cut caused by a head clash from referee there, Howard Foster, that it would from here go to the cards if it had to be stopped because of a worsening of that injury. It seems like it's right in the eyebrow, Mike, so it's hard to see if the cut is bad, but it seems to have stopped the bleeding. Good left to the body, but it was a nice short left hand from Amo Williams upstairs. He's following Wilson Bent around a little bit when he's on the front foot. He's not cutting the ring off, and that's allowing Wilson Bent to exit to his left quite comfortably under no real threat. Why are you letting him step in? Walk him into the jab! Trying to push out the jab again, Wilson Bent. Needs to keep that nice and sharp to not afford to be sloppy with that shot. And Wilson Bent, up to now, seems to have read the rhythm of that backhand from Williams. And although that blood has resurfaced from the damage above the right eye of Wilson Bent, 
still seems to be seeing at least some of the punches coming his way. Halfway stage of the set. And some better work from Williams there, changing up the direction of the shots, working the body, then the head, making it harder for Wilson Bent to, to read the rhythm and the, the shots that are coming his way. Williams again pawing with that right hand jab, telegraphing the follow up left hand, and it was read again by Wilson Bent. At least you understand, and he will understand as he goes through the levels, Williams. You're not going to blow everyone away, you're not going to knock all your opponents out. You're going to be in there with people like Wilson Bent. You see, they're doubling up the jab and throwing your own right hand. Who want to win? And you need to get back to your boxing. He is a good boxer when he. He works behind the jab and he's not loading up Williams and we need to see a bit more of that because this is far too comfortable for, for Wilson Bent at the minute who's having a lot of success of his own. Yeah, confidence has definitely grown in Wilson Bent but he has to, like I said at the, the beginning of this fight, he's got to pick his moments, mate. He can't get greedy, that's a lovely left hand. That, oh, that's a huge shot. That was brilliantly timed. He waited for the opportunity, and now he's got more than two minutes to build on this momentum now in round seven. Wilson Bender tactically drops the gum shield, gives himself more time, clearly needs more time. Big momentum swing in this fight now at the beginning of the seventh. A massive left hand, really, really was from Williams. Lovely shot, but great experience from Wilson Bent to spit his gun shield out there and find himself more time. But back comes Williams, he's a really good finisher, and that's a lovely left hand. Wilson Bent backs off noticeably here, just covering up as Williams looks for the openings. Good work again with that left hand, just smothering his work a little bit, and needs to give himself range, Williams, to get those big shots off. Some of it getting wild from the American, but he clearly believes he can take those risks. Still yet to reach the halfway stage of round seven. Wilson Ben's corner imploring him to get back behind the jab. He can't miss with that left hand at the minute. Just as I say, that he misses with a big left, but he's been far more accurate with the shot. He's been picking the shot, but back comes Wilson Ben with his right hand. Williams, the American, taking the full 10 round distance the last twice, once of them by the Briton Kieron Conway. All the signs in the previous round that he'll finish this inside the distance. How can Wilson Bent respond? Yeah, he did look a little jaded and almost sort of as if he was feeling sorry for himself at the end of the, the seventh round. He needs a response here. all the time with William now, he's, he's opting to, to hook it more than straighten it up, good work again. Starting to turn the screw slightly, Williams, close the gap and work away, you see there was a nice right to the body, he's feeling this, Wilson Bent, and the towel comes in, Mike. And here comes the towel, Wilson Bent was backing off. Looking as though he would only take more heavy punishment, and so the towel comes in from Brendan Norman and John Pegg goes in the corner of the man from Coventry. And in the end, it turns into an impressive finish for Austin Amo Williams. The red corner throws in the towel, causing referee Howard Foster to call a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and one second of round number eight. Your winner by TKO.